Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm coming at you with another tutorial. Um, today you'll be learning the Stranger Themes theme song. Um, uh, let's get in. Now, first I'll show you what you're learning. So it's not like gonna be a super long video, but mm, anyways, first thing you want to do is determine how you want to play this. There's two ways to play this. One way is where you have this is like for people with a little bit bigger hands, where you have your thumb on the C, your pointer finger on the E, middle finger G, bending finger on the B, pinky on the C, where you can just do it with one hand. You don't have to like move your hands all. You just have your one hand there, you just push down your face. Or, if your hands are a little bit smaller, you have to actually move your hand. But, that's still not very hard. So the first thing you want to determine is if you can do like this, which is obviously much easier, or if you want to, or if you have to move your hands, but, um, whatever, it's all up to y'all. So, after you decided that, if you can do the full range, make sure you have your thumb on the C, pointer finger E, middle finger G, bending finger B, C is pinky. So the way it works is C, E, G, B natural C, B, B G, E, C, E, G, B, G, yeah. you know, like that. Or, if you have used the moving your fingers, you just have your thumb on the C, middle finger on the E, thumb on the F. Go like that. And steps. This is going to be a super short tutorial on my shortest I think I'm ever going to make. Um, for the bass, you won't be able to see it all, but you're just going to have octaves like Bohemian Rhapsody. You have double C's, double G's, double C's. Back up to the G, back up to the C. And then you play, you play that twice, and then you switch. So you start on the C, and switch to the G, come back up to the G, and then you can just keep repeating however many times you want. But let me go more further into detail if you need to move your hands. So you have your thumb on the e, C, middle finger on E, pinky on G, and then you come up, and then you use your pointer finger on the B natural, middle finger on the C, and you just repeat like that. It's, that's really all there is to it, you just so double octave C, double octave G, double octave C, back up to the G. Um, anyway, if you have a keyboard like me, there are some cool options that you can actually put on your keyboard to, like, really add to the tech. If you have the same keyboard as me, which is the DGX680, I think it is, uh, then you can go to 132, which is Fargo. And it, that really has an effect. But that's, of course, if you have a keyboard. You can do this on any piano, like, let me switch it over to a grand piano. Yeah. Yeah, whatever, I'm just... Anyway, that is really all there is to the... It's pretty simple, but, I mean, I thought I'd still make a tutorial over it, just that any of y'all who actually watch the show and like it can learn. Um, yeah, the main thing is just making sure you get the bass notes right, and the treble right, as there is in all songs. But it's really simple, there's no sharps and flats, and yeah, that's all there is to this, super easy. But, well, not a tutorial, and anyway, if you enjoyed today's short little video, um, well, you can leave a like, that's if you liked it, um, and...
if you really like this type of stuff, you can subscribe and turn on notifications and you'll be notified whenever I make a new video. Thank you for 600 subscribers, and I will see y'all in my next video. Goodbye.